Hi, my name is Shear, and I'm the founder and CEO of ShearConsulting.com, where we focus on converting the existing data from your business into massive savings and extraordinary profits. Today, we're going to learn the basics of Excel. Let's get started. So now let's talk about some essential formatting shortcuts in Microsoft Excel. There are three ways to format the cells. First method is using the ribbon up top here. Especially uh, of use to us is going to be here in the cell styles or format as table or conditional formatting and even more options here in the format of cells. Another option is to choose the cell that you want to right click and then choose format cells. The best option in my opinion is to click the cell you want, hit control one, which brings you to this window, which is the most commonly used spot in Excel in my opinion. Here we have the number for the data type, the alignment, which we can do horizontal, vertical alignment. Uh, we can change the, the orientation of the text so that it reads vertically if we choose 90 degrees. We can also, I'm gonna undo that. We can also do things like change the font, uh, have any effect that we want with subscript, superscript, or strike through. We can choose different borders, there's a lot of choices here, and fill to shade the color, anything we want, as well as additional protection. So this is the best place to go for anything formatting. Let's go through the most commonly used formatting that we'll need to do. So if we select the cells we wanna format, we'll hit Control-1. Let's choose the um, basic font formatting. In fact, we can do that through here. Let's choose the cells we want, and let's do either Control B for bold, Control U for underline, Control I for italics. If I press it again, it undoes it. Uh, alignment is a big, most commonly used formatting tool, so I'm gonna change the alignment so instead it goes centered or left, but since it's uh, currency, I'm gonna do right. I can also choose the vertical alignment so it shows up differently as well. Um, other common things are borders. If I want to make this entire table have a border, I'm going to select it, hit Control 1, go to the border tab, choose first the style of the border that I want. I'm going to choose a thicker line over here, and then simply use this as a, as a way, use this area as a way of applying that formatting. So I'm going to apply it to the left, to the right, top, and bottom. A quicker way is to simply hit the outline button. If I want to undo it, I can click again, or I can simply hit the none. So I can choose these options to make it quicker, or I can use these to select one at a time. So let's choose an outline and hit OK. And now we have an outline. If we want to go one step further and make everything inside with a grid, let's choose a very faint line, and let's choose inside, like that. Now everything is with a grid. If we want to wrap text. This is something that we actually did already over here. So I'm going to select the entire row and I'm going to do control one and go to the alignment tab and I'm going to uncheck it. So what that does is it makes it all, all the text appears on one line and if it doesn't show then it appears hidden. So the best way to make it show is to select it, control one, alignment tab, and hit wrap text. So now it appears on the next line according to the space that it needs. We can additionally insert a new row here and put a title here for the data table. If we wanted to center that in the middle, we could guess where to put it, or we can do a merge of all of these cells. Control-1, Alignment tab, Merge Cells. Then we can hit Center. The other option is to use the ribbon, to simply do that in one click. We can add a cell shading by selecting the cells we want and then clicking on the fill color tool. We can even choose down and choose what color we want. We get a little preview on the side as we hover over. It doesn't take effect until we click. We can even change the color of the text. And again, it shows us a preview before we actually choose it. We can also do borders from here by clicking on this down triangle to get more options. Here are some quick ones. Sometimes a useful one if you want to do a total. If this was the total line, we could select it all, 
a quick way of doing it is to just do top and double bottom border like that pretty useful we can also increase the text size like that or decrease it like that and those are some essential formatting shortcuts for Microsoft Excel.